Who here has had a cup of coffee today? I have in a mug. And looking down at that coffee, I notice this lovely pattern of light sitting at the top, like in this image. Have you ever seen that? Well, that's called a caustic, which comes from the Greek word kostos, meaning to burn, because it's a bright concentration of light which can literally burn, like in Toy Story, when Sid takes the magnifying glass and he uses the light from the sun to focus on a point in, Woody, in Woody's head, burning him. That's a point caustic. And the coffee mug caustic traces out a pattern over a surface. And that caustic tells a story of the way a sheet of light traveling through space transforms itself when it hits the wall of the coffee mug, twisting and folding and bending itself to trace out this lovely pattern. That caustic is a powerful visual tool to help us understand this kind of behavior of light. And further, I can pick that coffee mug up. I can tilt it this way or that way. I can hold it under dimmer light or brighter light and observe those changes in the caustic, cementing my understanding. In my PhD, I've come up with a new way of visualizing light fields, like the light from some x-rays passing through some object of medical curiosity, such as a human lung. And a human lung has within it 20 odd thousand tiny air sacs. And each of those air sacs interacts with the light in a different way, creating a mess. This is the kind of mess that you get when you try to image a human lung. And this is the way that I visualize it. I take that mess and much like with the coffee mug, I transform it. I use a sort of mathematical coffee mug or an abstract coffee mug and I transform it and I observe the way that mess, that structureless, featureless mess transforms itself, bending and folding and twisting, rearranging itself to become a highly structured image littered with caustics. And each of those caustics tells a story. Those caustics are directly related to things that are happening in that physical light field. Things that up until now were impossible to understand and certainly impossible to visualize. But using an image like this and caustics like this, I can start to cement my understanding of these sort of complicated light fields. It's a powerful visual tool through which I can start to move forward with a better understanding of these sorts of complicated light fields. Because in life, sometimes all you really need is a new and different way of looking at things. Thank you.